Today we're turning $1 cookies into an instant, completely no-bake chocolate cake, also known as icebox cake. I'm gonna show you two versions, a more classic, simple, deep dish version, which was my childhood cake, it's very special to me, and a more grown-up, fancy version that you can actually slice and serve. Whichever you make, you will not be disappointed, because who doesn't like chocolate cookies and cream? But get yourself some chocolate and cut it into small chunks. I recommend you use dark chocolate. I can already hear the buzz in my ear. Can I use, no, you can't. You can't. <laughs> the dark chocolate really cuts the sweetness of the sponge cookie layers. I've added one third of the heavy cream and we're gonna melt this in the microwave stirring every 30 seconds. Chocolate can burn so easily, so please stir it every 30 seconds until everything is fully melted and combined. This is the only thing we're making today, so I think you can give it a little extra love and attention, okay? Now you'll notice this will be hot to the touch, so we're gonna take this baby and pop her in the freezer just for about 10-15 minutes. We want this to cool down. Do not forget this in the freezer though, otherwise you'll be dealing with a solid chocolate block nobody likes that. I've never once heard somebody say, oh I love a good frozen chocolate block. <laughs> Add the remaining heavy cream and this should whip up within seconds. As long as your heavy cream is cold, this will fluff up instantly. Congratulations, you just made the most amazing creamy silky chocolate mousse. I know you'll be tempted to eat this with the spoon. I don't blame you, okay? But we have to save some for the cake. I'm using these Italian chocolate cookies today. Italians love dentalini cookies, but honestly, any cookie works. So use your favorite chocolate cookies or any you have on hand. You're gonna dip each cookie for a few seconds in some milk and place it onto your cutting board or serving plate. You wanna line these up as best you can. Do not worry about the edges, you know, don't don't fuss about those and add the mousse layer the reason we use this type of frosting is because the cookies will absorb the moisture of the cream and soften up beautifully she's gonna be a creamy cake what i love about this recipe is that once you've built your layers it's basically done well not quite but there's no cooking no baking involved not only is this the most perfect summer cake but it's quick and easy and it's amazing the more traditional way of making this is to just use a deep dish or a tray you assemble your cake directly in the dish kind of like like tiramisu or an icebox cake. Icebox cakes were really popular in the 1920s and I wanted to show you a more modern cake style version instead of, you know, a deep dish cake in honor of today's sponsor, June's Journey. By now you know I love a good game to relax in the evenings or between cakes. June's Journey is a free to play hidden object mystery game set in the 1920s with an exciting storyline about June Parker in a quest to find out what happened to her sister. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but the game is really fun and relaxing. In each scene, you have to find specific objects in these beautiful carefully crafted scenes. The artwork is beautiful. It really makes you wish you could experience that era. As the game progresses, it does get slightly challenging. You really put your sense of observation to the test but in a way that is still relaxing. I usually play this in the evenings. It's my way to unwind. I love mystery games and June's Journey is so immersive. You really get into the story. As I said, it's free to play on your phone or on your computer so download June's Journey for free using my link in the description box below. You're going to cover your cake entirely with a mousse frosting. This just locks in the moisture of the cookie layers. If you're making this in a deep dish, obviously everything is already locked in and snug. I love how this looks like a giant chocolate block. Now you're gonna pop this baby in the fridge for anywhere between four hours to overnight. It really depends on what cookie you use. Some cookies soften up faster than others. If in doubt, refrigerate overnight. Now you gotta take this cake out of the fridge at least 30 minutes before serving. This allows both the frosting and the cookie layers to soften up again. If you don't do this, it's gonna be like a real chocolate block, honey, okay? If you've never had an icebox cake, a cookie cake, call it what you want, you're missing out. It's something so simple, but so amazing. Again, big thank you to June's Journey for partnering with me today. Play the game now, link in the description box.